Hello everybody, Lego Bro here, and we're back on Legoland 5. I dug this pit a while ago and decided to just decorate it with the classic theme of jungle and stone brick. And I think I like this. This is game is going to be called Build Off, and I kind of wanted to just go with uh, go through how to play this game with you guys. Uh, so you've got a bunch of different blocks here. Uh, three stacks of every color. Uh, I might add some scaffolding blocks and buttons and the like. But I think I might make it like Pictionary. And if you don't know what that is, it's a game where you are given a card or I think something like that. You're, you're given a card and you're supposed to draw it and then people try to guess what you have. So instead of drawing it, you're going to be building it. And instead of drawing a card, I think I might just make it you get to build whatever you want and then people get to guess it. And then there'll be a point system based off of how many people guess it uh, and the like, uh, different things like that. But I just wanted to show you off the sign and I guess the decoration of this. Also, I want to figure out how to bring this path over to there without it looking too weird. And I guess since this is stone brick and well, I guess this is stone, that path is mostly stone type blocks, we could connect it with some stone. Uh, the hard part would be bringing this down, but I think we want to go three white here. And we've got to find a way to add light to this path, which I think shouldn't be too hard. I think maybe glowstone or redstone lamps uh, going up around here, maybe the outside as well. Okay, so that's not too bad, but... Also, we want something like this, probably. Uh, and then to maybe just stone. Oops. Eight. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That's not too bad. Uh, and this is just a separate game entirely. And I think this would end it off for war. classic, uh, on this side at least. Uh... We're running pretty low on room, surprisingly. I, I'm okay with that because I want to make it uh, wide. I guess uh, if you think of the analogy of a city, usually when cities get... Or it starts out as a town, right? You just have a small town. And then once it expands so much outwards, it starts going up vertical, like skyscrapers and taller multi-story buildings. Uh, I want to avoid multi-story buildings in a sense of I don't want things to be vertical or underground. I want them all to be basically one level and you can see everything pretty easily. So that's that's my goal. Uh, so I think we should just bring this around. I don't know if we want this down all the way. Uh, this we can just bring up two blocks like so. And yeah, that's got a pretty decent look. And I think that's not too much of an eyesore. It's you usually don't want a bunch of texture stacked, but here you only see like one block for the most part. So I think that'll work pretty well. Uh, and I think I might just stop this path here because this is really part of a game more than anything. Uh, this area is supposed to be viewed by the other players looking down. So now we have to make the weird conversion between the two build styles, which is stone bricks on the outside and slabs in the middle. Uh, first of all, I think we need to bend the path over. And let's grab some stone brick. I think I've got some in here. Yeah. 
The next thing after this I want to build really bad is an arena, and that's just something that you have to have, at least for Minecraft theme parks. Uh, let's bring this out, actually. Uh, there's a few things I want to do with arenas, too. I want to do a multi-class actual objective type game. Like, capture the point or whatever. But along with that, I want to do just a... I guess, what, how would you call it? Uh, <laughs> some, sound like somebody who doesn't know the English language. How do you call it? That's usually what they say. Um, but I'm losing my train of thought. Okay. I The thought came back to me finally. <laughs> uh, I want to do a bracket system. So if you want to play with your friends, you just add them to the bracket. And then let's just say you have eight people that want to play PvP all at once. And then... <laughs> Did I really place three of the... <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, then you could just do a bracket, and you don't really need eight people to do a bracket. You could do it with four people. Any less would just be basically just a tournament, or not a tournament, a uh, single event. But, and that would just be with one type of PvP. So something like maybe a tournament for bow pvp uh kind of like duels or the bad lion server uh duels on hypixel and the way the games are set up on i guess it's not really games it's uh matching for just single person or double person fights uh, i think i could just do something interesting like this and that looks pretty nice oh, oh that's wrong this needs to be normal stone so the transition is weird because it goes from light on the inside and dark, darker gray on the outside, and then lighter gray on the outside and darker gray on the inside. But I don't think it's too terrible looking. Uh, I'm going to light this up. So how many of you have seen the uh, new 1.13 stuff? There's a bunch of stuff coming out to 1.13. I'm excited for Legoland to update because... First of all, other people actually join, and uh, lately I kind of feel annoyed that no one's really playing on here. I understand that everybody's got a pretty busy schedule, but I almost feel like I'm wasting my money with a server. But I guess that's just how server owners go. Uh, and I'm buying a realm, which is not... I just wanted to try it out for a year, but... I have a feeling I might quit it before even then because they're just not as many options with the realm. I'm excited for uh, uh, what's it called? The Trident I think would make uh, some pretty fun games and what else? I, like to, I would like to see uh, Okay. Uh, what's it called? All of the new fish stuff is cool. And the coral. I I think coral's going to be a one-trick pony, though. It's not going to look too good in other locations. And even if it does, you can't really use it elsewhere because, well, it's, uh, it has to be connected to water. And it doesn't come with slabs, which is kind of annoying. Everybody wanted a colorful block that had slabs, but uh, it's not the first time Mojang disappointed people. <laughs> and it certainly won't be the last. And turtles, I think, are going to be fun to have. I like I like with new mobs, just to have them. It gives you something that you can say you've never really done. Like, I've never found a uh, polar bear. I mean, I found them, but I've never really done anything with them. And stuff like that is cool to have because then you can do something pretty cool with them later. And it just opens up more opportunities, even if they don't really do anything. Uh, turtles especially, or polar bears especially. 
uh, turtles can do quite a bit of stuff, and I think they're going to be pretty neat. Uh, this is looking pretty nice. It's very simple, but I do like it. Yeah, that's a nice wall. Uh, I want to put leaves or some sort of decoration between these two buildings, or I guess pathways. Uh, I want a game. Uh, I could put the con uh, constructions, not <laughs> instructions, here. So I finally found a solution to this uh, junction, this railroad junction for the monorail. And it's just using a fence gate. And it's actually really, really simple. Uh, whoops. Uh, me mechanism. I think if I do this just right. No. Oh, there we go. So when you move this fence gate, it triggers the observer, which makes a mono stable to this piston, which is a sticky piston, and that makes a T flip flop. And then there's just a redstone dust underneath this block, which I don't think I can get to. So that's all you need. And it fits rather nicely into the system. Uh, I'm not going to ride this because <clears throat> it's really loud. Uh, this was on recent Etho video, too. I... He's probably one of my favorite players. Uh, I already built a junction over here. And before too long, start expanding into this area. It looks like, uh, I think it was either Coot or Sharp. Pretty sure it was Coot. Built this. And I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but I like the way it's coming. Hopefully it goes in with the western theme rather nicely. It looks like it could be a saloon type build. Something along that nature. Or maybe it's just a desert pyramid. Over here... We've got these chests set up. And these are going to be kits for a game that we're making. And I'm collecting a bunch of resources right now for it. I'm not actively doing that. It's more just every once in a while I come over here and just make a bunch of stuff. But we've got three classes. So you've got a tank that can take a lot of damage. And then kind of scout slash high damage person. And then Archer, which is probably be my choice most of the time. But this is going to be a PvP arena. And I'm excited to get started on this. Uh, we have to designate an area for it. And I think we could do it down in this area. Uh, with classes, I want it to be flag-based or something along those lines. Uh, that's at least what I'm hoping for. Or we could do a defend the castle type game. I think that would be fun as well. Uh, that would fit in well with this medieval theme. Medieval slash fantasy, I think I'm kind of combining the two. I want it to be overgrown and using old weapons such as swords and bows. Uh... Here's just food, but I'm storing, or I'm actually paying people to come and fill these up. So, if you ever want to come and help, there's always work to be done. This is probably easy. I could actually do this right now, but uh, leather helmets I did. I think I did all the leather stuff, actually. Uh, yeah. 
gold chest plate's kind of annoying, but you just stay at a mob farm. And then more stuff. I think I'm paying what, what more for chainmail. Apparently that's less. Okay. But this is something for the people on the server. I'm sure they don't know about this uh, to come and help out with because it needs to be done eventually. Uh, this will just be a food chest. But I think I want to start working on just a general idea for the PvP arena. And I really like this area down here. It would border well along here. And we could do it depth ways. We could do Yeah, we could go this way and attack this way and the other team attacks that way. Are you mine? I guess you are. Yeah, the other team could attack this way. And we could have two different themed bases, but I'm thinking... Actually, let's get this going. So this is not a good chunk border. Uh, you can always use chunk borders to place stuff, so maybe the main base is here. And we can make it three chunks by three chunks, maybe? See, that, that cuts in a lot into this area. And I don't really want it to. This could be the border, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. So border. Then. Okay, so I got some walls in. I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think they should work out pretty fine. It feels a little small. And it is pretty small. But I think... Oh, I'll also cut this down. I think if we put something in the middle, it won't be too awful. Because this is... Is this just two chunks wide? Oh, but it's three chunks long. Okay, that's why it feels so small. So maybe instead of going... Bases on the sides, I do bases... On the other sides. Therefore, you can't just run into the other person's base as quickly. Yeah, I think this is a good base area. And over here, it can just be viewing stands or something. I'll just leave that. I won't worry about it. I was going to set up some sort of way this works, a layout. So I think six blocks enough to be good. I'm just using cobblestone because it's a good uh, base block. So six wide, turn this off. Six wide isn't bad. Even things are annoying to work with though. So I think I'm gonna make it seven. And then we're going to have archer stands up here. So maybe I always like a three by three inside towers. So something like this is always nice. And then you can see, yeah, that's, this is a good vantage point. We could have two of those, maybe at different heights too. And then this, we want this to be open so the people can run in and out. And how do we want this? Uh, let's get center. Yeah, that's the center. So on one side we need the spawn point, so maybe all the way over here we have the spawn point. Uh, 
How do I signal that? There's our spawn point. And this is after you get your classes and then run over here and then you spawn. And then maybe a hole in the wall where you capture the flag. Just something real small. And this would be mirrored on the other side, so it's fair. I might make one side more defensive and one more offensive, just to make it not boring on both sides. Because uh, if the mirror, if the game is mirrored, then you only have to play it once to kind of have a general idea. Oh, that's weird. Okay, never mind. Uh, and once you capture the flag, maybe right here is where you return it. Because you could get shot pretty easily going from side to side. Especially if there's maybe a, 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 a river in the middle. I'll do something like that probably. To use some TMT, maybe. Then over here will be the same thing. And this should all fit within this boundary. Uh, we can always make it look nice, but that's an issue for later. Yeah, I think this arena might work out pretty well. Oh, you can see me toggling stuff. Uh, don't get worried about the commands. I always do slash lag to see my ping. And uh, as you can type anything, uh, and you can even just break a block. But I always type slash lag to see just the, how bad everything is. Uh, we could make it so that over here is where you get to watch the map, but also both teams respawn pretty close to each other, and then all of the different kit items, which are up on that hill, are actually connected, so you can't hit each other when you respawn or something like that. And I want there to be a penalty for dying, because I don't want fancy items constantly despawning, you know, it's pretty annoying. Apparently there's an Enderman nearby. So that height is pretty good. Uh, anyways, I think this is all we're going to get done. Uh, it's hardly anything, but it can be something. That's more what's most important. Yeah, I think this is a good size, because if it's too big, then you need more players. Uh, with just a few players, then, or like, I want two teams of two, probably. That's probably all I, I'll have. Like, recommended. Ooh, lag. Uh, before we end it here, I want to go ahead and show you just a few things I've worked on. So if we come back here, this should be roughly the same. But I also added some bushes in front of the gift shop. We're going to have items that are named there. Then a nice flower patch. I actually like this quite a bit. Ties in the red. Uh, here we've got a currency exchanger. So if you put in a super token, it gives you 10 brick tokens. If you put in 10 brick tokens, it gives you a super token. It's a 10 to 1 ratio. And that fits in pretty nicely with the mountain. But the redstone for that is kind of annoying. And 
over here, I uh, added this around this tree, made this just a little bit nicer. And then over here, I really like this. It's like a little, little uh, sitting area. Get a view of the Ferris wheel. And we need to add supports to these. I don't like the way they look with just floating. And then I think one more thing. Oh, this is finished. I think I said that last time. Uh, I didn't do anything down there. Oh yeah, and I've been adding a bunch of bunch of uh, what's this called foliage, leaves and plants and the like, just to add a bunch of detail. This looked terrible before, and now it's not too bad. And I changed the exit of this to be outside mostly. I don't like the big lump of stone. And uh, this is going to be all torches. I'm uh, just waiting for pumpkins to grow. And then one last thing. I think I passed by it. Yeah. This right here is going to be a food area. Uh, you need to add light somehow. You've got yourself a trash can. And we're going to have a burger shack right here or some sort of food place. Uh, we could build that next time, maybe. I don't know, there's always a bunch of work to be done. But anyways, everybody, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.